Greetings, everyone. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the banner and dorm system for Girls Frontline 2. Let's go ahead and start with the banners. At launch, the game will have four banners available to summon from, and all banner have a pity counter, which we love to see. Our first banner here is the beginner banner. It have a pity of 50 and a discounted price of eight tickets per multi instead of the usual 10. After reaching 50 summons, you will get a random standard banner five star character. I know they might not be rated by star, but let's just go with that for simplicity's sake. Anyway, once you claim your five star here, this banner will disappear forever. Our second banner is the standard banner. This banner has a pity of 80. And once you reach 80 pulls, you'll get a random five star character or a random five star weapon. I am sure some of you out there are already having Skyward Pride PTSDs. If you look at the bottom right corner of the screen, you may have noticed the number 260. That is the requirement for your S rank selector. Our third banner is the limited banner. Funny enough though, the character featured here is a standard banner unit. She is definitely my favorite character base on looks alone, but I would not recommend using your premium currency on this banner until the first limited banner unit Diane is added to it. The pity for this banner is 80, and yes, the bottomless pit known as the 50-50 is present on this banner. Here are the rates for those of you who are interested, so 0.6%, and I'm assuming this goes up to 1.89 after you reach a certain number of summons. Our last banner is the weapon banner. The pity here is 70. Again, the weapon on the banner at launch is going to be a standard banner weapon for the standard banner cutie. So again, I would not recommend summoning on this banner at launch. When summoning on the weapon banner, you have a 75% chance of getting the weapon featured here. I'm not even sure if this banner have a guarantee after losing a 50-50, so proceed with caution. If we go back to the beginner banner, those of you with keen eyes may have noticed there's a character missing. The reason for this is we will actually get a free copy of her from the newcomer event quest. So not putting her on the beginner banner was a form of dupe protection, which is just fantastic. So as a free to play, we are already looking at three guaranteed five stars. Granted the 260 required for the selector is gonna cost you a lot of time. All right, let's check out the dorm. So from our character roster, we have a couple options. We can level up our characters, our weapons. Further enhance them using dupes. And upgrade skill in our skill trees. You can interact with your characters. Let's go ahead and touch her left leg. Her shoulder. Her gun. and her giant forehead. Adorable. You can also preview costumes before buying. All right, all right, dorm time. And here we are, it's pretty limited at the moment, but as you can see by the text there, it is still in beta, so many things will get added later down the line. All the girls share the same room, it looks like later you may have the option to change their PJs. But for now, all of them have this exact same PJ. You have some additional dialogue, which likely just tell you more about them. At the moment, the most interactive thing about this is being able to change their poses and controlling the camera. It's possible that some things are level locked, but this is what I have access to at the moment. We can unlock additional poses, but I only have the first two at the moment. So let's play around with that. I kind of wish the entire game was done in 3D. The level of detail on these characters are insane. Of course, you have full control over the camera. You usually would need to pay a lot of money for stuff like this, so I'm expecting 1,000 likes. Take a good look at those feet. All right, all right, enough of that. Man, this girl loves to read. I see. So Wanderer needs 50 crit rate, 250 crit damage, a C6 Faruzan with 300 energy recharge, a level 90 Bennett with Aquila Favonia, 
and a triple-crowned Yalan. Ah! No, I don't want Chi-Chi. All right, let's look at one more character. And she is sleeping. I am sure at least one of you would like to know why anyone would make a killer robot that also have a sleep cycle. She's not getting a job at Amazon, I can tell you that much. Just imagine waking up in the middle of the night, hungry. After careful consideration, you decide to microwave a hot pocket, only to be met with the crashing realization that your microwave is currently asleep. Oh, the humanity. Have you ever ate a cold hot pocket? It's called hot pocket for a reason, damn it. Okay, one more. She's so cute. I wonder what she's reading. Oh, what? That's my last video. I love this girl. Hopefully she liked the video.